The mobile unit prototype was built as a batch processing system. As the unit could not operate continuously, production speed was severely limited. As new continuous flow design was then implemented, the new unit was built in a six week period. On the second generation mobile unit, the continuous flow unit is comprised of three trailers, each accomplishing a certain task. The first trailer, a loader, mixes and loads the petroleum into the system. The second trailer is responsible for separating the product from the resulting oil and sediments. The recovery trailer collects the oil. The final trailer is responsible for cooling the system. A skip loader places tar sands into the unit hopper, where it is mixed with the product RTS-11. The tar sands or other alternative petroleum source is vigorously mixed. The sediment and petroleum will go through several washes over a length of about 40 feet. This is the first step of the separation process. The mixture will continue through many feet of auger length. By the time the mixture reaches the recovery trailer, roughly 99.9% .9 of the petroleum will have been separated from the sand. The above picture shows tar sands typical of those found in Canada and Utah. It is estimated that the petroleum reserves held in the tar sands of Canada are in excess of the oil held in Saudi Arabia's untapped reserves. The second photo shows one of the many oil ponds mentioned in the Praxis client testimonial letter. This substance is similar in consistency to tar sands. At the end, we have a high quality petroleum product that can be refined into gasoline, diesel, or other petroleum based products. In the picture above, you can see the tar sands before processing in the mouth of the skip loader. The clean sand and sediment is shown below. In the bottom pictures, we see the resulting oil flowing out of the recovery trailer. 